Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel MV's Code Guide. Today's topic is going to be matrix manipulation problem. It is asked by one of the subscriber to solve matrix addition problem and I am more than thankful to this person to trust me on this. Uh, I hope by the end of this video uh, at least matrix problem is solved and you would be able to solve matrix addition, subtraction, multiplication and even matrix division very quickly. Okay. So we can be solving matrix manipulation using NumPy library which is very common uh, for matrix manipulation but as a fresher you are expected to solve problems using both the approaches that is by using nested list and you should also be knowing NumPy library. So first of all I will discuss nested list concept and then I will tell you how we can solve this problem by NumPy which is very easy and uh, uh, two lines of code are required to solve this problem using NumPy. But uh, using lists will help you develop your concept so that is also very important so let me clear the concept of nested list and then solve the matrix addition problem in order to do matrix manipulation using uh, nested list we need to brush up the concepts related to nested list suppose i have a list a is equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3 and i am going to traverse it i can either write print of a and that is how i'm going to print the whole list if i need to print the individual elements i can either use the indexes a of 0 that is how i'm going to get the first element a of 1 and i will get the second element and if i write a of 2 i'm going to get the third element okay so these are the indexes and to to get to the element using indexes we use this square bracket along with the name of the list okay this is how we can access the individual element of a list okay this is the case of single list but if we have nested list then we have to specify two indexes now let us see how a nested list looks like inside the list i have two lists I can specify the list using uh, these square brackets. So this is how a nested list looks like. I am uh, writing a two dimensional array in the form of nested list. I have two lists inside a bigger list. If I write index number 0 of B, it will give me this whole list and if I write index number 1 of list B, it will give me this whole list, not the individual elements because this list as a whole is of index 0 and this list as a whole is of index number 1. Now, to reach to the individual elements of this this inner list I need to specify another index okay so b of 0 is going to take me to this list and if I want to reach to the individual elements of this list I need to specify another index if I write b of 0 of 0 that is going to take me to the first element of this of this inner list if I write b of 0 of 1 it is going to take me to the second element of this first in a list okay this is how we can traverse this is one way of traversing or we can use loops for this purpose now let us use the nested loops concept to traverse each and every element present inside the nested list for example i have a list a equals to nine okay i'm gonna traverse this uh, using loops so i will write for i in a range of length of a okay I will also show you what is present inside i. So I am going to print. First of all, I am going to print. I am going to write a of i. Right? So if I print it like this. Okay, value at 0 is this. Value at 1 index is this. And value at index number 2 is this. So index position 0 is having this list, index position 1 is having this list and index position 2nd is having this list. Okay, this is how we can use a loop to traverse the, uh, the list present inside this whole of the list in this bigger list A. But we need to traverse the individual elements of the list. So I am going to use nested loop. So I am going to copy this thing from here and I am going to write this thing here. Now I am going to dive deep inside this list. So I am going to write for j in range of length of a of i. 
Now what is A of I? A of I represent the individual list or the list present inside the list. So A of I is going to pick the index from this position. First of all it will be 0, then it will be 1 and then it will be 2. And for each list it is going to traverse the individual elements. And now I am going to write something like this. I am going to print this. I am going to copy this and paste it here. Value at I and I am going to write comma J is I and J. Now I am using double index because I am going to traverse individual elements. Now you can see value at 0th index 00, 0 is 1, 0, 01 is 2, 0, 02 is 3 and so on. This is how we can traverse individual elements of the list. Now that we can traverse individual elements of the list, the matrix manipulation will become easy. Now let us do the real part. We need to do matrix manipulation. So I have these two lists A and B and I am going to treat them as matrix and do the matrix addition. So for matrix addition, I am going to take a dummy list result and save zeros in this. So this is my dummy list created. Now I am going to traverse the elements and save the result. So to traverse individual elements of the list, I am going to use nested for loop for I in range of length of A okay you can use either A or B doesn't make any difference because for mani uh, for matrix manipulation we need to have a uh, same type of matrix if you are using a matrix A as 2 by 3 uh, type of matrix then B has to be 2 by 3 matrix then only we can do matrix manipulation so the number of elements and uh, the dimensionality is going to remain the same so you can either use A or B it won't make any difference for I in range of length of A for J in a range of length of a of i. Now I am going to use result of i of j. This is how I am going to reach to the individual zeros over here and I am going to replace them with the sum. Uh, 1 plus 10 that is 11. 11 will be replacing this 0. Then 20 plus 2 is 22 and that will replace this 0 and that is how it is going to work. So I am going to write a of i, a of i and then I'm going to write the second index that is J. Then I'm going to plus it. Okay. Plus B of I of J. And we are done. Now we can print the result. And the result will be the matrix addition. Okay. 11, 22, 33, 44, 55, 66. This is what we wanted and the matrix addition is performed. If you want to perform matrix subtraction, you can replace this plus operator by minus and you will be ready with the result. Okay. We can use the same code. I can copy this and I can paste this over here. If we want to do the matrix multiplication, then I have to write multiplication operator over here and rest of the code is going to remain the same. and here is it. If I print the result now, it has overridden and now the result is somewhat like this. Okay. So this is how we can do matrix manipulation and this is how we can use uh, nested lists for this purpose. Now let us understand the program diagrammatically. We have these two matrices A and B and we want to perform matrix addition. Okay. So we have taken this dummy result because we want to take a list to which we can um, add values. So that is why we are taking dummy result. That is why we are taking dummy result. Then we have this outer loop for I in range of length of A. What is length of A? Length of A is 2 okay so the value for i is going to be 0 and 1 only as you can see in the chart then in the inner loop we have for j in range of length of a of i so this value length of a of i it is going to be 3 for whole of the program because uh, the value inside these inner list are 3 if you see this if you see this or if you see this all these matrices have inner elements 3 so that is the uh, column number. So outer loop always represents row value and inner loop always represent column value. You have to remember this or you have to understand this. Uh, the inner loop always represents the column number and the outer loop always represents the row number.
whenever this code is going to run it will have these values all these values now i is going to have all these values and j is going to have all these values okay so when i is going to run first of all i's value will be i's value will be 0 and when this inner loop will run it will also start from 0 j will also start from 0 at first i and j value will be 0 and when we are going to run this line a of 0 0 what is a of 0 0 a of 0 0 is 1 so i have written that in chart a of 0 0 is 1 and b of 0 0 is 10 so addition of that will be 11 and that will be saved in result of 0 0 what is the result of 0 0 right now result of 0 0 is 0 and it will be changed to 11 then the loop will iterate again and the value of i will be 0 the value of j will be 1 the value of a of 0 1 will be 2 as you can see value of 0 1 will be 2 and value of b of 0 1 will be 20 and the result of 0 1 what is result of 0 1 the result of 0 1 is this 0 and it will be replaced by 22 this is how it is going to iterate and have, I have shown you the chart so that you can easily understand how the values of i and j are going to change and that is going to be helpful for us to make the manipulations. Using nested lists is not the only way to manipulate matrices. So we can also use numpy library to manipulate matrices. So let's see how we can do that. In order to use NumPy library, you need to install NumPy library because it is a third party library, not, uh, it does not come with Python installation. So if you have already installed Python in your program, you have to go to command prompt and then you have to write pip install NumPy. This is how you install any library in your machine. You have to run this pip install NumPy and if you have already installed NumPy it will show you something like this requirement already satisfied because I have already installed NumPy in my machine. Okay now I can go ahead with the code and uh, use this NumPy in my program. To use NumPy library we need to import NumPy as np and we have to run this now we can use numpy to create an array let me create an array x using numpy np dot array this is how we create an array and inside this array function we have to specify nested list why nested list because i want to create multi-dimensional array that is why nested list okay okay this is how we can create an array now i'll be creating another array y np dot array now we are ready with two matrices and let me show you how they look like. Uh, this is how NumPy arrays look like. Okay. So now if we want to manipulate these arrays or if we want to do matrix manipulation, we just have to write X plus Y for matrix addition and we are done. As you can see, matrix addition has been performed and uh, this is just one line of code and you are ready with the manipulation. If you want to do matrix subtraction, you have to write x minus y and x multiplied by y will give you matrix multiplication and x divided by y will give you matrix division. This is how simple it is. And NumPy is very popular because it is very fast. It is written in C and C++. That is why it is much faster than Python. And uh, most of the people who have to do numerical manipulation, they use NumPy in many of the projects. It is used in machine learning. It is used in uh, open CV projects because NumPy is really fast and uh, th this is the plus point of NumPy. So this is the end of today's video. If you are having fun learning with me, please like my videos and subscribe to my channel MV's Code Guide. Please keep learning and keep supporting. Thank you.